my beauties welcome back to my channel so I had a request from one of you guys to do like a New Year's Eve look I know this video is gonna be coming up kind of late but um, it took me actually a lot to come up with this look I came back from work yesterday because I usually don't work Fridays but I worked for just a few hours and I you know kind of tried to recreate and create like a really fun um, you know kind of New Year's Eve look I know I wanted to get some glitter on there and so this is the look I came up with. I tried different versions with different color combinations. And so if you guys would like to see how I came up with this eye look that's super glittery and super fun, just keep on watching. Oh, and then real quick before we get started, update on my cornstarch nails. They are still holding on strong. Um, it's been about six days now. Yeah, I think six days because I did them Monday morning and it's already Saturday. So about six days, they're still holding on strong. I am kind of getting used to the fact that they're long nails and I'm trying to, you know, kind of just not let them get in my way. But I think I will go ahead and file them a little bit shorter after the New Year's. Um, just because it's really hard to type at work and um, besides that they're going strong and so we will see how long they will last all right so for starters before I start anything with my eyes I'm actually gonna put my lipstick on just so I don't look like a little ghost and so what I'm gonna use is I'm gonna use two things for my lips and I definitely feel like they will last for a while. So first what I'm going to go in is with this Bite Multi Stick. This is in the shade Cashew. It's a very new type of shade. And so what I'm going to do is try to apply this a little bit more on the edges. And then fill in my lips. Okay, now that I have the Bite Beauty as a base, I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors Liquid Lipstick in the shade Truffle. This is definitely one of my favorite like nudes in general. And so I'm going to take this and I'm just going to apply this all over the lip, kind of just over the Bite Beauty. And I do feel like this combination of lip products um, definitely sets and lasts a super long time. So it's great for a night like this. And so let's go ahead and get into the eye makeup. So I already have one eye done. I really wanted to get the order of steps right. Alright, so let's get started. I actually baked underneath my eye with the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Loose Powder. Um, I feel like just in case there's going to be any kind of fallout, I'm going to be able to like catch it and then easily wipe it away. So... First things first, um, I have pretty much everything done but the shadows and the eye look itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use kind of a couple of palettes and kind of jump back and forth. So the main palettes I'm going to pretty much use today is the Natasha Denona Purple and Blue palette and the BH Cosmetics um, a Brazilian Take Me to Brazil palette. I absolutely love these two palettes. Some of my absolute favorites for colors. And then I'm also going to use the black in the Kat Von D shade and light palette just because I feel like this is a very very nice black creamy pigmented black all right so let's get started on the shadow look the first thing I'm gonna do is apply my Milani eyeshadow base primer I really like this primer one of my favorites from the drugstore by far I'm just gonna take the tiniest little amount kind of mix it in and then just apply it all over the lid Alright, so now that we have the base, I'm going to go in with a kind of tapered fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this palette right here and use this hot pink. And you definitely want to make sure you tap off the excess because these are super pigmented and we want to kind of be able to build on the color and there's just going to be a ton of blending in this video. So let's get started. I'm going to take this hot pink. And I'm just going to go ahead and start kind of building my crease. And I'm going to use this shade as kind of like the base for my transition. But I'm going to want to kind of place it a little bit higher than usual. Okay, now that we have the pink, I'm going to go into the Natasha Denona palette. I'm going to use this shade right here. And I actually realized, you know, finishing my other eye, that you could definitely just use this palette and be just fine and recreate this whole look. So this isn't really necessary, but I'm just going to use it because I really like these two shades. So what I'm going to do is go into this lilac shade, tap off the excess, and then keep building kind of a little bit lower than the pink. And just kind of place this in the crease and just keep blending.
Now the next shadow I'm going to use is this purple right here. I'm just going to dip in a different brush and then just keep on building the crease a little bit deeper and deeper, lower and lower than the previous shadow. All right, if there's any fallout, don't worry, we can wipe it away later. Now I'm gonna go into the Kat Von D palette and I'm gonna take a little bit more of like a packing tapered brush and I'm gonna go into this blackest black and I'm just gonna pack this onto the brush and kind of start working my outer corner. So first what I'm gonna do is kind of just pack instead of swipe and then I'm just gonna br start bringing it a little bit in and then I'm going to go in a little bit on the bottom as well. And I'm also going to go in the middle. And I'm also going to go in the inner corner. And then we're going to just like, as the corner is built up a little bit. Now, since we build up the corner a little bit with the black, I'm going to go in with the purple brush that we were using earlier and kind of just blend the black into the purple and the pink. And we want to drag it out a little bit out as well and even on the bottom, just a little bit. Now I'm going to take a clean brush and kind of just blend the edges of the inner corner a little bit, just so they're not that harsh. And once we have the shadow built up to this point, we're going to get into the fun part, cutting the crease. I don't really do like a lot of like really crazy looks on my channel, so this is really exciting for me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with a flat kind of tapered brush. And first I'm going to go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. And so I'm going to just take a little bit of the concealer and now we're going to go ahead and cut the crease. And this is the trickiest part because you have to make sure you kind of make it as even as possible so it matches your other eye. And so let's go ahead and see what happens. And you want to make sure you go above your like natural crease a little bit. Okay, now at this point, you definitely don't have to worry about like the edges being perfectly even because we're definitely going to do a lot more blending. And so now what I'm going to go in with is exactly where I put the concealer. I'm going to go in with the Seal of Magnificent Glitters. This is definitely like a game changer this year for me. And this is in the shade Smoldering Satin. So I'm going to go ahead and put this all over where I already placed the concealer. Okay, now to be a little bit more extra, what I'm going to go in with is some glitter glue. And I'm actually going to put a little bit of this glitter glue on top of the Stila shadow. And we're going to just pack on a little bit more glitter. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this glitter glue. And we're just going to tap onto the Stila glitter just to pack on even more of the glitter. And so I'm just going to pack on... And then what I'm going to do next is go into this awesome glitter. This is by NYX. This was just a couple bucks and this is in the shade 08 and I absolutely love it. I poured some into the cap as you guys can see. It's just regular kind of loose powder glitter but I love the shade of this color because I feel like it's not gold, it's not silver, it's kind of more in between of like rose gold and bronze. I absolutely love it. And so what I'm gonna do quickly before the glitter glue sets is I'm gonna just take this little like eyeshadow packing sponge tip applicator and I'm gonna go in, dip into the glitter and just lay it exactly where I laid the glitter glue and the concealer and the Steel of Magnificent glitters.
Alright, so after we have the glitter on, what I'm actually going to go do is take a little bit more of the glitter glue with the same tapered brush that we used for the concealer and I'm going to go in and now that the glitter is kind of adhered to the eye, I'm going to go in and place the glitter glue on the very edges of my eye on the outer corner and then the very inner corner because what we're going to do is I'm going to try to build the dark purple and black a little bit more and so I want it to have something to definitely like grab onto and be super pigmented and now I'm going to go in to the Kat Von D's black and I'm just going to pack it on And then I'm going to go in and then I'm going to go in to this darker purple right here and I'm just going to try to blend the edges out a little bit. Now I'm going to just wipe any fallout that we have and we're going to get started on the bottom lash line. I feel like this is as good of a match as I'm going to get it to be. Um, cut creases are always like so tricky and difficult. Actually, one last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hot pink um, and I'm just going to blend maybe right here on the inner corner just a little bit just to give it a little bit more like pink just to match the other eye a little bit better. I feel like this look isn't going to come together until the very, very end when you clean everything up, when you put the lashes on, and then that's when like the whole look kind of comes together. So let's get started on the bottom lash line. What I'm going to do, it's going to be pretty quick and simple. I'm going to take the Aqua XL Makeup Forever Black Liner. I really love this one and from Urban Decay and Marc Jacobs. I feel like those three are my favorite like high-end black liners so i'm gonna take this and i'm gonna put this on my waterline now what i'm gonna do is take kind of like a super tapered brush like this and i'm gonna go in to the same black and now i'm gonna just kind of smear out and make the bottom lash line a little bit more smoky and this also like sets the liner in place so it lasts much longer So now that I have my black, I'm going to go in with like a smaller tapered brush. I picked up the dark purple from the BH Cosmetics palette. And now I'm going to smoke out and try to kind of blend the black um, shadow out a little bit. Just so the purple like peaks just a little bit. And then now I'm going to go into the hot pink brush. And I'm going to go ahead and apply a little bit of the hot pink on the very, very edges. Okay, and so next we're going to do a liquid liner. I'm going to go all the way above. I'm going to do the inner corner a little bit harsher for this look. And then I'm going to go in a little bit on the bottom as well. And now I'm going to go in with one of my favorite mascaras, the Benefit The Real Mascara. And I'm just going to apply this on the top and the bottom. Now as a last step, we're going to add some lashes for this festive, dark, smoky eye look. And I'm going to use the Ardell Wispies. These are the black ones. This is what they look like. They're super wispy, kind of really natural, but glam looking at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on and I'll be right back. All right, my beauties, my lashes are on. This is the finished product. Um, what I'm gonna do as a last step though, I am going to spray my whole face with the Caudalie spray just to kind of set and refresh my makeup. All right, so this is it. This is the finished look of this smoky, crazy, wild, you know, New Year's cut crease type of look. I hope you guys enjoyed um, this tutorial. I love color. I love to play around 
with just makeup and shadows in particular and I feel like I should be doing a little bit more wild and crazy fun darker looks on this channel so if you guys enjoyed this video let me know give this video a thumbs up let me know what you guys think of this look in the comments down below another thing I was actually going to mention and ask you guys so I actually watched a video that Bunny made um, she made like favorite and best 17 items from 2017 and her video was mainly like makeup related and so I was thinking of doing my favorite 17 beauty items in general of 2017 I feel like that would be a great video for tomorrow and I just really wanted to do the video just so it's not only like makeup related it's gonna be other things and other beauty products that I absolutely love and enjoy and use on a daily or some that I've discovered this year in general that I've been loving and obsessed about and so let me know if you guys would be interested in a video like that and so I hope you guys have a happy 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 and safe new year and so lots of love from me to you stay happy stay positive and I'll see you guys soon bye Mwah.